In the land of hobbits and wizards, deep within a mountainside lies a secret history waiting to be discovered. Scientists and cavers squeeze, crawl and repel into the darkness, illuminated only by head torch. At the end of their journey awaits weird growth formations called speleotherms. Speleotherms are commonly called stalactites or stalactites, and they are drip formations made from minerals precipitated out of the water. Now these minerals have come from the atmosphere above. They travel through the water channels and drip down from the ceiling of the cave and form these growths. Speleotherms take a long, long, long time to grow, tens of thousands of years. And as they grow, they create a picture of the outside conditions through the minerals that drip down. Scientists who have journeyed from far and wide come to take core samples from these speleotherms and look at the amazing records they capture. They use specialised drill to draw out long, thin cylinder samples that can be taken back to the lab and analysed. In 2020, a group of scientists published a paper where they had done just that. They separated the core into segments and dissolved them. Then they used a mass spectrometer to separate and measure all of the components and calculate the amount and state of thorium and uranium. This can be used to date the segments and reconstruct a timeline of growth. As with all of these things, they also cross-reference their findings with other past climate reconstructions, such as ice cores and preserved pollen samples. Their data showed that when it was warmer, there was more speleotherm growth, and when it was cooler, there was less. This meant that speleotherms that were lower in altitude were able to grow for longer periods, whereas the ones at higher altitude only grew for short, warmer periods. This also reflects the vegetation growth on the soil above, showing that the forest was moving up and down the mountainside with the change in temperature. Our Earth goes through cycles of warming and cooling. There are three main things that control these cycles, the rotation around the sun, the tilt of our axle, and the precession or circulation of the axle. Combined, they are called the Malakovich cycles. The Malakovich cycles create periods of glaciation and interglaciation, which change and affect the Earth's systems, including the altitude of the tree line and the growth of the speleotherms. These findings are super important as we move forward into the future, as knowing how the forest was reacting to the changes in temperature in the past will help us model how forests are going to respond to the changing climate conditions into the future.